Hey guys, my name is Tapan Zuleta and in this chapter I'm going to teach you how to quickly change uh, the color of a gray background. There's a couple of techniques you can use. Uh, this is a simple one. I uh, just learned it recently so I wanted to share it with you. So here it goes. Uh, okay, so the first thing we have to do is try to select the color of the background. Probably if we do select it through color range, uh, we can get a little bit more of colors for things inside the selection, but it doesn't matter, we can always fix that later on. So let's go ahead and press the color range. And we've already have a pretty decent selection of whatever we're going to use, which is going to be the background, right? Uh, we can try to change the fuzziness, but I can see that there's still something like over here trying to get in. To me, it's not. You, I think we can push a little bit harder. There you go. Try to add up. Okay. So with the first selection that we got, what we can do now is press OK. And then create a curves adjustment layer, which you can do through the adjustments panel, or you can just go down here, press click, and you can get your curves. Right. Now that we've got that, we can access to our mask. Uh, if you want to know how to access, you just press Alt, click, and you'll see whatever selection that we got. So, what we're going to do now is we can change the color right now and see what we're going to mask out, or just try to fix this out first and then try to use the rest of it. To me, I think it's easier if we just start changing the color and then just deal with the mask by itself. So, uh, what we can do now is We've seen our RGB channel, right, which is red, green, and blue all together, which is going to mix the light. You can see how it changes light and all that stuff. But what we need to do is to change the actual channels and the colors, right? So let's say we want to change to a blue color. So what we'll do is click on blue, you can see your curve. And uh, if you've never been into curves before, this side, like, the curve will go this way, right? So this is the lighter part of the image, this is the darker part of the image. So in color, because uh, the RGB has the counterpart, which is the CMY, because K is for black. Uh, what we do is, if we push up, it's gonna be blue. If we push down, it's gonna be yellow, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we can always move from the shadows, or from the middle of it, because actually this is gonna be the mid zone. I think it's better we just push up in the middle section because we need to try to keep blacks as possible if it makes sense then we're gonna go with the reds and we're gonna push them down a little bit so we get more of that bluish tint we can go with the green and push down the magenta which will give us more reddish or more cyanish color depending on what we want but that's the easy way of changing colors of your great basic background. What we could do now is go into the mask and with the black brush, full flow, full opacity, start painting with black whatever parts we don't want the effect to work with. All right. So we have to be very careful not to go way too far because probably never gonna have problems boundaries and colors that will um, get into the clothing or to the rest of the picture and we don't want that right so we could just do this and start coming black it should start working out now there's a cool trick that I've learned and it has to do with the blending mode of the brush if we change the blending mode to overlay right what this will do is start to attack the black colors of a gradient, if you want to say so. So we've got this gray, right? This gray has X amount of black, X amount of white. So if we use the overlay mode on our brush and put it and start painting on this, this will attack only the black pixels of the gray, which is cool. So you now can go through the border, see, and it won't affect the white pixels. So this helps a lot when you have like all these gradients and fades and borders. 
so you don't have to worry about if you go over it. And there you go. Before and after. Easy way of changing color of your background. Great backgrounds in this case. There's more complicated techniques for more complicated colors. Um, I'll be trying to work on that. But for now, this is uh, our tip of the day. So thank you very much for watching. If you feel that this helped out and you liked it, please subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you soon in another chapter. Thank you very much, and you have a very good day.